देखते हैं नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम विच इज रिलेटेड टू मैक्सिमा एंड मिनिमा द डिटर्मिनेंट इज गिवन टू अस यू कैन सी यू कैन क्लियरली सी दीज टू एलिमेंट्स आर सेम एंड दीज टू एलिमेंट्स आर सेम नाउ डूइंग दिस ऑपरेशन दैट इज सी वन चेंजेस टू सी वन माइनस सी टू यू कैन क्लियरली सी दिस विल बिकम जीरो एंड दिस विल बिकम जीरो सो इन द फर्स्ट कॉलम टू एलिमेंट्स विल बिकम जीरो सो एक्सपेंडिंग वी विल हैव फंक्शन एफ एक्स क्लियरली कॉस एक्स इंटू कॉस थ्री एक्स विच कैन बी रिटर्न एज कॉस टू एक्स प्लस कॉस फोर एक्स नाउ फर्स्ट पार्ट इज वी हैव टू टेल वॉट इज द मैक्सिमम वैल्यू वेदर द मैक्सिमम वैल्यू इज अटेन एड एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो यू कैन क्लियरली सी दिस वैल्यू is lying between minus 1 to 1 and this is also lying between minus 1 to 1 fx will be having the maximum value 2 which is definitely attained at x equal to 0 so by putting x equal to 0 you will be getting the maximum value so first option is definitely correct now the derivative hame batana hai ki derivative kitni bar zero ban raha hai minus pi aur pi ke beech mein so differentiating this here we have f dash x equal to minus twice sin 2x and minus 4 sin 4x now from here we can take common minus 2 sin 2x and here we will have 1 plus 4 cos 2x now let us see by putting this to zero we have sin 2x equal to 0 and cos 2x is equal to minus 1 by 4 so from here we can get the critical point sin 2x equal to 0 the given interval is the open interval minus pi to pi and this will definitely become zero at three points and the points are 0 minus pi by 2 and pi by 2 and again when you look at this cos 2x is equal to minus 1 by 4 when you are taking this interval minus pi to pi then 2x will lie between minus 2 pi to 2 pi and this will become this value will be satisfied by four points in this interval so definitely four points will be getting from this and again Three points will be getting from this. So in total, f dash x will become zero at seven points. Seven bar f dash x zero will become zero in this interval. Mein. So the next option, which is correct, is option number C. So the answer for us is answer A and C. This question is typically related to the definite integration. Plus, it is a summation of a series, a very different series. So we'll be applying the difference method here. So let us first calculate the integration. You can clearly see the integration of this part is k plus one. This being constant, I am taking outside this integral sign. It is log of x upon x plus one. now applying the limit from k to k plus 1 and here we have summation from k is equal to 1 to 98 now this will lead to log of k plus 1 upon k plus 2 minus log of k upon k plus 1 again summation from k is equal to 1 to 98 now here we are breaking this and applying the difference method the integration was actually easier now the summation is the main part of this problem ab agar hum isko yahan pe break kare hum break kar rahe hain k plus 1 log of k plus 1 upon k plus 2 now taking this part that is k into this 
only k into this part. Now why we are doing this, we will understand and 1 into this. Now 1 into this will lead to another difference of two terms, it is k plus 1 minus log of k. Now, it is a summation from k is equal to 1 to 98. Now, when you put from val values from k is equal to 1 to 98, agar hum k is equal to 1 se 98 tak values rakhenge, in dono ka difference method se aap dekhenge, all the terms will get cancelled out and will be left with the first term and the last term. The first part is you will be getting here 98 plus 1 that is 99 log of 99 by 100 and one term is 1 into log of 1 by 2 and here again doing the summation we will have log of 99 minus log of 1. Now this is clearly 0 so the final value we will be having here is 99 log of 99 by 100 plus log of 2 plus log of 99. Now looking at this final value you can clearly see this entire logarithm term is with the base e and this value is much bigger and this is again a positive quantity and this is definitely a negative quantity. This negative quantity is almost close to 0 because this value is definitely closer to 1. So, this is closer to 0 although this being a negative quantity but numerically it is very small quantity. So, definitely this quantity is going to be positive and if you club these two terms you will see this entire two terms are negative. When you club these two terms this term is negative so the value is definitely lesser than log of 99 and when you go for the higher side then this is definitely a determining value and this is again a much larger value than 1. So, again looking closely you will see the option A is also correct. So, finally there are two answers of this problem it is A and C. So, these are the two correct options.